dear Mrs. Partena, and dear all, uh, I would like very warmly uh, thank you for your invitation in Krakow. Uh, the action that you are doing uh, now since three years with this forum uh, is very important because uh, I think that Krakow now is a very, very good example for all the big cities in Europe. So thank you for that. You, you're making a very great job. Um, just uh, I would like to, to say a word about uh, Fiorella's presentation and search your work. Uh, what you, you need to know is that uh, uh, research on electromagnetic fields is very, very tough, very difficult. And there is a lot of pressure on all the, the, the researchers. So uh, the, the researchers who are here, uh, like also Oli, Professor Oli Johansson from Sweden, uh, they are very, very courageous. So I would like to say that, bravo, thank you for, for your courage. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, before beginning my presentation, I would like to ask you a question. Uh, who is having, at this moment, his cell phone in a pound pocket or next to the body? Please, don't be shy and uh, raise your hand. Okay, not, not just two. Oh, yeah, okay. So, no, uh, okay. Please, I would like you to, 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 to put, that you put your, your cell phone in the, uh, in the table, okay? You can do this, no? You will, yeah, please. You will see that it's, uh, after my presentation, will tell me if it was a good advice. Uh, maybe I need something. Who I am? Uh, I am Dr. Marc Arzi. Uh, I am a French physician. I've been uh, working since 15 years. Uh, uh, I'm really concerned about the health effects of electromagnetic fields. Uh, I've been uh, for 10 years the spokespeaker of a French NGO on this. Uh, and the, on, electromagnetic, on electromagnetic fields. And also, we, we had an important, uh, and I know that the uh, uh, Consul General of uh, Krakow uh, for, for France uh, know that. We have a very important uh, meeting with name Grenelle de l'Environnement. Uh, and uh, during this Grenelle, uh, it was uh, a part, uh, was uh, concerned by the Grenelle of waves. Grenelle des Zones. And it, this meeting, it was during three years, so it was a long, long time uh, of, uh, of work. And I've been one of uh, the, I participated during this uh, Grenelle des Zones. So we are a very, very new association. You see that we have been uh, created in March of this year, but we have done a lot of work in a few months. Uh, <clears throat> we have obtained a lot of data, and we will talk about that during this presentation. And also, maybe you don't know, the first withdrawal of cell phone. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what, and maybe it's uh, not maybe, it's sure that uh, what we have been doing in France now. And it's why it's important to be in Poland, that uh, I hope that the presentation we are doing to today will uh, incite a political, a political action uh, to, uh, to uh, make uh, uh, some uh, information and withdraw some cell phone. So what is a phone gate scandal? We have all more or less heard about diesel gate, well, the phone gate scandal looks a lot like it. Insufficient international regulation that allow even today manufacturers to put on the market phones that be a risk for our health. You, you hear that for more than 20 years, 20 years, 
And for a long time, we are all been overexposed to the waves of our, self, of our cell phones well above the regulatory threshold. No doubt, the phone gate scandal far exceed of diesel gate. It is a planetary scandal. You, 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 you will uh, understand that the world is in two, uh, schematically in two parts. Uh, a part of, of uh, uh, 150 uh, countries who used the ICNIRB standards. ICNIRB is International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation. And a second part of uh, 19 uh, countries with America, Canada, and uh, we use the Federal Commission, uh, Communication Commission, FCC, okay? And we will see uh, the map, and you can see that most of the world is using ICNIRP. You can see that uh, all South America use it. There is just Bolivia <laughs> who is not using the ICNIRP standards. You see that also uh, uh, all uh, Australia and uh, uh, all Europe, we are all using ICNIRP standard. And you have uh, India or Iran who are using FCC standard, who are a little bit protective. And uh, you, you see that uh, in, uh, uh, in, in, in uh, gray, you have also 20 countries we didn't know and uh, it's a map from the GSM Association, so it's from industry. And for 20 uh, countries, we didn't know what is, the, what is the standard, what is the regulation, okay? Why can we say, without being uh, denied, that we have facing an industrial on health scandal? For one essential reason, we have irrefutable evidence from French government sources from two parts. The first one is the National Frequency Agency, with name ANFR, and I will say that for all the presentation. And also the second part, the test of control carried out by the INFR on hundreds of mobile phones to measure exposure at body contact. For example, we knew that nine out of 10 mobile phones tested by INFR in 2015 exceed the regulatory threshold of two watt by kilo. Nine out of 10, okay, remember that. The first action we have taken is to obtain the public communication of this data through legal action. These are still ongoing to obtain the publication of new information important for the health of user. The 1st of June 2017, we obtained a, a, um, a first part of, uh, of the data. And in March 2018, we obtained the complete report of each uh, cell phone test. Until June 2000, uh, concerning the test, it is necessary to distinguish two different periods. Before June 2016 and after June 2016. Until June 2016, the manufacturers can measure the local body saw at a distance of 15 to 25 millimeters, like this, like in levitation, you know? And in your notice, but nobody read the notice, uh, you, they say that you have to keep it at this distance. After June 2016, the European regulation is made more restrictive not on all the, the ICNIR per country, just for Europe, I was, I'm talking. And now we, we, we uh, measure uh, at zero millimeters for extremities and five millimeters for the trunk. So 
We are going to have example now. Uh, so here, in this slide, on the first column here, you have uh, the, uh, some example of the test. And here you have the model and the mark of the cell phone. You see that it's a Polaroid, very famous HTC, Blackberry, Nokia, Apple, okay? Uh, the cell phone we are using. On the second column, you have the SAR, uh, who has been uh, measured at the distance, famous distance, 15 to 25 millimeters, you know? And you see it is one watt by kilo, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, okay? And in this column, you see what is the real measurement when the INFR tested at zero millimeters. And you, do you think one, you see that? One, 7.4, 0 0.3, 7.1, okay? The iPhone 5, 1.1, 3.1. And do you think it's, uh, just the, it's just the beginning? You will see after that. And now, you can see in this line, because there is another very important parameter. In Europe, you are using to expose 10 on 10 grams of tissue. And with the FCC, we are using to, to have this exposure on one gram. And what we know scientifically that and it's the work of uh, Professor Om Gandhi from, from USA, that the, the exposure, the difference of exposure between one gram or 20 gram, it's 2.5 to three times more exposure, okay? So here, not to be too, not to afraid you too much, we, we use a conservative uh, uh, of two, uh, of two, uh, multiplication of two. And here you see, they said that it was one for Europe. It is not one, it is not seven, it is not 14, you will see <laughs> why now. But you see the difference, one to 14. 0 0.3, 14, okay? And it's the same, you see iPhone 5 is 10.6. And you see that also, maybe it's important to say that the limit for USA with the FCC, it's a little bit different because it's less, it's more protective, it's 1.6. And for Europe, it's two. So you see that for, just for this, there is more than 10 times uh, that uh, an over exposure. But it's continue. What do you think, because, uh, Maybe you, you're going to read, but you, you have already the, 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 the answer. But uh, what do you think? We, we, are, we are using our cell phone one hour, two hours a day, 10 minutes or five, uh, five hours. What they've done, they have really uh, <laughs> give a, a new parameter completely unrealistic. And they don't, they didn't use uh, one or two hours on, if you do, if you use, uh, or you are all using cell phone and you know that you're using heat much more than six minutes. And they use this uh, time of exposure. So you see that we have the millimeters, we have the, the gram of exposure, and now you have the time of exposure. If you take very, uh, uh, comics, uh, <laughs> very comic uh, uh, parameters. You will find also, uh, you will find also very uh, strange results. Okay, and this is also uh, because we we have the uh, the study of uh, Mary Redman uh, in uh, in Australia. She, she has made a study, and she she see that more than twenty percent of the young people they, they, they follow, she follows, st keep the cell phone in a pocket, okay, more than 10 hours a day. And, the, and they keep it also when the day sleep, okay? And you see, six minutes, 10 hours a day, okay? And it's not finished. 
We know uh, quite well that, uh, because there is uh, the work of uh, Om Gandhi, but also of uh, Dr. Fernandez in uh, Brazil, that young people are much more exposed, exposed to uh, than, than adults. It's nearly 30% more. So, if you remember 216, it's not 216, uh, the real exposition, it's for uh, a middle 50 times more than the, 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 the SAR who are uh, um, given by the, by, by the manufacturer, by industry. And uh, it's, I, I would like to, to read this uh, with you because it's uh, our national French agency for security and health, ANSES, and the director general wrote this with the committee of experts and it's very important to hear that. I'm going to read it with you. And they asked for recommend to reevaluate the pertinence of the specific absorption rate used in the establishment of limit values of exposure of people for means of protection against, and, and hear that, known and proven health effect, thermal effects of radio frequency. Okay? It's not me, it's our national French agency. And on develop a measurement representative of the actual exposure of user of mobile phones, no matter what the condition of use, signal use, good or bad reception, type of use, it's important, cause loading of data. And to finish, and it's the most important, ensure in all circumstances the respect of regulatory limit values of exposure, no matter what type of emitting device are used and their condition of use, and the most important, positioning in contact with the body. And what say ANSES, that we have, all, in, it was in um, 2016, in July, that they have uh, to, to, to change very, uh, very quickly urgently the way we are measuring uh, the SAR. And uh, with the action of uh, our organization, we obtained something very important. Uh, the public, the French public authorities uh, tasked ANSES in October 2017 to make new study. And two, uh, and two parts. The first part is to, to know what is the potential of risk of the cell phone who has been sold with the so high SAR uh, that we, we have seen with the, the NFR test. And the most important, they have to assess to make, to, to work on a new indicator. You, you hear that? a new indicator to change the SAR and to have a real indicator, not only in France, but also for all Europe. And uh, we are waiting, and sorry, I don't have the, the answer now, but no, normally we are waiting for all this information at the end of the year. So you, you see that we are going to have a complete revolution on the way we are measuring the SAR. Sorry, because I, I go, uh, so maybe uh, you see my back, sorry. Um, and at the same time, because everything is coming in the same, in the same time, what happened in, in USA? The California Department of Health uh, make new recommendation and all surprise, because California, you know that uh, all the big uh, uh, the big uh, company of cell phone are in California. Uh, they say what? Keeping the phone away from the, the body. Not only from the head, you understand that? But also to uh, keep the phone away from your body. 
Uh, second thing, very important, but I have no time to, to explain that, to removing headset when not on a call. Headset are not sure for your health. You, you hear that? So, uh, we wrote to, uh, to the president of the FCC in March with uh, Dr. Devra Davis, uh, who is uh, president of the organization of Environmental Health Trust, to tell them all this and to tell them to, to do action. We have no, no answer, you imagine? No answer for FCC. And what is very uh, unbelievable, they continue to test the cell phone while sell in the United States at 10 millimeters of the skin. But uh, one big company, I can say Apple, they test it now for all the cell phones at 5 millimeters. OK? So the action we, we, we have done, maybe you never heard that in, in Poland, but we obtained the first withdrawal in France. And you see, in April, 100,000 uh, cell phones uh, uh, were commercialized by Orange, were, rec were recalled from the market. And uh, also in May, a new one, the Nefos X1 TP902, for exceeding uh, the radiation. And five other uh, cell phones have been updated. And maybe you have this cell phone who has been we are, we are in, uh, we are in, in Poland. So we can say, because you, I'm sure that you have the Huawei Honor 8, uh, it's very famous uh, uh, cell phone. I'm sure that it's uh, sell in Poland. But now you have to, to know that they had to put uh, um, uh, an update in this, all these five cell phones. And it was, you know, the, the last one, it was in July, at the end of July. And it's not finished. Now we obtained also the first withdrawal in Canada. So it was the first at the end of July, and it was for the Alcatel U50. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is a real problem. There is millions and millions of uh, cell phones who are uh, sell every, every year in, uh, in the market, in the European market. And there is no control at all. In Poland, zero control. In 24 countries in Europe, zero control. We are good, uh, Mr. The Consul of France, that because INFR is one of the, the only one in Europe who is doing the job. And a little bit Netherlands with very, very small budget. Uh, do you know the budget for the control? For all the milliards of cell phones who are, who are uh, selling, it's 130, uh, it's 100,000. Uh, Euro. Uh, <clears throat> so, what we have been uh, asking in the end of July, we, has, we have been uh, the 28th with uh, Professor Debra Davis and uh, Dr. Anisasco in Paris. We uh, launched an appeal to uh, the withdrawal of 2,000. 50 model of the best selling model of cell phone who are at potential, potential risk uh, for, uh, for, the, for your health. And uh, for the moment, you imagine that uh, it's, it's a real problem because it's millions of cell phones who need to be uh, updated and uh, or uh, uh, recall from the market, remove from the market. And someone t t asked me what, what is going, what is do, doing Europe. 
sorry to say that here, but Europe is crazy. What they've done, it's completely crazy. It, since the 12th June, 12 June of this year, we are in September, they ask for complete secrecy for all the, the cell phone at risk for health. Oh, no, you, you, I will read it to you because I'm sure that you, you don't believe me. So you have here the new directive. It's very easy. It's in Polish too, so you can also, uh, if it's easier for you. And you see that in the Article 1, uh, because I like this, uh, this way of, talking, of writing, as from 12 June 2018, manufacturer shall re register radio equipment, tips within the category of radio equipment, affected by a low level of compliance with the essential requirement set out in Article 3. It is for human health. Yeah, you see that? Affected by a low level of compliance with the essential requirement. And after that, in the fourth point, the Commission shall make available a central system allowing uh, manufacturers to register the required information. The system shall ensure appropriate control of access to information of confidential nature. Imagine that's the, the, the answer of Europe. I'm not going to make uh, politics. Uh, so, we are going to, to, take, to, to speak about health. And uh, what is really important uh, to, to, to understand that you have thermal effects. And what is measuring uh, the, the SAR? What is the SAR measuring? It is only the thermal effects. And what you read when we talk about ANSES, that this thermal effect, there is a, cons a scientific consensus to say that it is at risk for human. Okay? And uh, there is no debate. And what you are measuring and why it's so important that we have used SAR to measure, and uh, this, uh, this SAR, is we, we know there is a scientific consensus, I insist on, on this, there is no debate, and it is at risk for health, okay? So, uh, why it's uh, so important? Because most of the debate, when you hear about cell phone, people say, no, there is a, a non -consensus, scientific consensus. Yes, it's right, but not on thermal effect. And <laughs> what is really uh, terrible with uh, phone gate, we know that there is a problem with the thermal effect, but also there is also a risk with the non-thermal effect. Uh, so, with the, uh, with the, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm a little lost. Um, so, what is it, why, why uh, uh, at this moment it's important that now many scientists uh, and, and doctors and physicians like my, uh, as myself, uh, has to the, the WHO, of uh, the, the Organization Mondial of the, of the Health, to, uh, to elevate the, the alert from, from the, uh, the, the WHO to 2B to 2A, probable carcinogen. And some of the scientists that want to, 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 uh, to, uh, to push the alert to 1, class 1, an uh, um, carcinogen. And why it's so important? Because, and uh, we talk about uh, the development of the 4G and the launch of the 5G, and uh, at this moment, you have two trains which coming. 
One, you see that, uh, do you think that we can trust manufacturer when they say that uh, the, the cell phone and the uh, waves are uh, nothing for health? Do you think that after, having, uh, after you have seen that? For me, uh, the, the, the answer is no. And that's a problem because they want to, to put waves everywhere and more powerful waves. And in the same moment, we, we, we understand that we will have maybe the most scandal of the, of the cycle. So we have, to, we have to understand and to manage this. So, you, you see uh, the number is written here. Maybe you say it's, it's crazy. 300 million of people who suffer of electro hypersensitivity. It's not uh, me, it's not me who say three, 300 million. In a report of uh, March of this year, all this in a few months, uh, ANSES uh, published a very important report, and he said that 3 million people in France, we are 70 million, uh, 3 million are uh, concerned by electro hypersensitivity. And if you extrapolate to the world, you see uh, 70 million, 7 million, it's 300 million people who are concerned. And uh, what is really important to, to, to understand that now we have the, pr the, the proof, the evidence that we have all been overexposed to, to the waves of the cell phone. And we were talking the, of this with uh, Professor Ole Johansson. Now what we need is uh, to make serious research to see what is the consequences of this overexposure and the, the link, the potential link with the, the, uh, the, the apiro, l'arrivée ou le, well, it's okay. Um, so it's very important to, to, that there is research on this, uh, on this uh, possible link between Overexposure and uh, apparition of uh, electro hypersensitivity, and it's not uh, it's not only electro hypersensitivity, but what what we need to to know that uh, the wave can affect all parts of the body, not just the head, because. We have this in, uh, in our head, uh, an, uh, but what we, you have to know, all the, the part of your body can be concerned. And also, the most important, there is multiple potential pathology and not only cancers. You see that um, we talk uh, with uh, Dr. Belpoggi of the risk for uh, the, the heart. And we see that we know uh, really nothing about the complete effects of the waves. Oh, the, the, the work for public authority, authorities is gigantic. We have to uh, inform uh, six billion of people. Uh, we, we have to prevent, we have to change all the regular international regulation. It's incredible. I, I was saying that I think we, we could compare uh, the situation we have to the seat belt uh, in the car to protect drivers. It's, it, for me, it's exactly the same. And uh, thank you, because in Krakow, we, we are beginning to, to, today to inform and to try to protect. Uh, and it's quite easy uh, to, uh, to protect because uh, uh, you, as you, you, you hear my advice when we, we start uh, to put the, the, uh, your cell phone away from your body. And it's quite uh, 
very easy. You have to put it out of your head, but not only of your head. What is important, because many ladies, many <laughs> maybe in this, uh, in this place, uh, they, they use uh, to put it in a bra, and it's really, really dangerous. And the same for the, for the guys, uh, not putting, not, not, don't put the, the cell phone in your pan pocket. Um, uh, to conclude, uh, we are already, we have already lost, lost a lot of time. The telephony industry having used extensively the strategy of doubt. With the phone gate scandal, no doubt, no doubt, but evidence, overwhelming evidence. So let's act. Uh, please keep safe and thank you.